a British phenomenon. Simply because of the volume of traffic and lack of discipline showed by drivers. Obviously roundabouts work kind of okay when traffic volumes are low, but in the south, there aren't team any quiet periods anymore. The main reasons they don't work anymore are, traffic volume, drivers not indicating, or indicating incorrectly, i.e., indicating right when going straight on, going too fast around the roundabout when traffic volume is high, which makes it difficult for slower moving vehicles entering a roundabout, try driving a 44-ton double-deck truck, very poor lane discipline, saw an accident yesterday, where a female driver straight-lined the roundabout straight into the car alongside her, and finally, too many lanes entering a roundabout, which instruct you into a particular lane, but halfway around, you find the direction, route has changed, even though you entered in the correct lane. Roundabouts used to be very simple intuitive affairs, not anymore. Oh yeah, one more, patience, most British drivers seem to be lacking any. Roundabouts with traffic lights. Why don't they just flash amber at off-peak periods, so you're not sat waiting when there is nothing else using the roundabout? No signaling, and stick to right-hand lane, irrespective of how far around you're going. Derives from original roundabouts were large diameter ones in cities, and the same rules apply to newer mini roundabouts. Even in Australia, where the driving environment is less demanding and drivers are generally not as switched on as in the UK. I can say this, as I'm Australian and don't claim to be the greatest driver ever, we get by fine only signaling to leave the roundabout. Although sometimes when turning right at the roundabout, people do signal right on entry, which is helpful. I have to confess, not entirely sure what the road traffic code says, but it works fine. Signaling right to stay on the roundabout just seems a bit unnecessary to me. Also, for those fond of roundabout trivia, I'm involved in a road project, I'm a town planner, sorry, where we've christened what we think is a novel roundabout design as the squashed frog. Look for a review in the 2018 International Traffic Design Digest. What about roundabouts where the entries and exits are close together, either end up indicating early, or so late that it is of no benefit to traffic waiting? My driving instructor years ago talked about body language of vehicles, try and observe where their wheels are pointing, do they look like they're about to continue right or turn off? Not infallible by any means. I find that inching forward as if I'm about to enter soon gets the non-indicating continuing traffic indicating for their exit. Agree with the comments here, especially multi-lane roundabouts. There is one in Livingston where the immediate left lane leaves immediately and all lanes shift one to the left and a new lane is created on the right. In practice though, the three lanes entering continue to the three lanes beyond this with no leftward movement at all. Four exits is the sweet spot for roundabouts as everyone knows where they are with their own and other vehicles. Go above that, as at many large intersections and you will always be in the wrong lane at some point and have to rely on others being well versed in that bit of road to know what you're doing. Proper lane discipline and signaling are a must at any roundabout but on the 3-4 to four lane jobbies it just becomes a free-for-all without it.